So with Hogwarts Legacy being on the horizon, fans are more and more excited to learn new things about the game. One thing a lot of people are interested in is the size of the map, the size of the explorable area. Well guys, I can confirm it's utterly massive and today we check it out. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So beyond the school, which in itself is absolutely massive, with hidden passages, dungeons, this and the other, there is a vast open world for you to explore and discover in Hogwarts Legacy. It said that whatever you can see, you can explore. Now from the gameplay reviews we have had so far, although we have seen moments of this staggering size, there hasn't been any confirmation as of right now on just how big this map is. Yes, people have speculated, yes there are rumours, but right now only people close to the developers actually know the true scale of this game. So within the first reveal, it was confirmed upon you walking out within the courtyard that everything you see you can visit and explore. And what we saw there was pretty big, but that's actually just a tiny bit of what's here and explorable. The second reveal, we got a lot more due to them showcasing broom flight, which was amazing. And the second reveal started just outside of the castle, just outside of the school. And as you can see, the scale is pretty big. And this is just one direction. Now, to me, the most important part isn't the fact that this world is big. It has to be occupied in regards to making the game feel alive. We have seen previous open world games where areas may be massive, but they're just empty. That is not the case with Hogwarts. So although it might not be as large as some games out there, it's still pretty big and the areas will feel full due to things to do, NPCs to visit, vendors to buy from, or exchange with, quests to be found, dungeons to explore, and much, much more. Now the speculation I keep seeing on the scale of this open world is based on a concept art image that came out of Sony's State of Play video on the game. Now the image you can see on screen now. Now although if you look closely it seems as though what we are seeing here is actually missing places and areas we know in the game. I mean like places like the school itself. So we know it must be bigger than what we are seeing here. But then if we look even closer guys, we can see numbers on this map obviously describing sections in which these numbers represent. If we look, you can see 5-4, uh, 5-5 and 5-6. We also see 6-4, 6-5 and 6-6. If this is a true representation of the map size, then we are missing a massive portion of this map. For instance, sections 1-1 all the way up to 6-6. And if we put this into perspective, I made a quick Photoshop image of how big this map could be. And this is just based off the one image and times in it by six people. You can see it's going to be staggering. But it could be even bigger than this, guys. These number sections could go to 7172, or it could go higher. We just do not know. But they added this into this state of play for a reason. Probably for people to do what I'm doing now and speculate. And while in reality what we are seeing here guys is just a surface, we know there are hidden areas like dungeons and much much more which behold secrets waiting for you to discover, as well as forbidden and hidden secret sorcery, puzzles, rewards and so much more. Now the key locations we know of so far within Hogwarts Legacy I believe are the Hogwarts Castle, uh, I think Forbidden Forest, the Hogsmeade Village, the Hogsmeade Station, the Diagon Alley, and there's probably even more guys, so they're just off the top of my head. But these are areas that you can explore, and there's no doubt going to be way more. Now there will also be fast travel points too, these are called the Flu Flames. And these do indicate that the map may be too big for some players to fly back and forward. We just don't know. But beyond the scale of the game, there is just so much more to do and explore within that scale, which is what most people are excited about. And that's great because the team at Avalanche have gone above and beyond to make the map feel alive. One addition I absolutely love is adding active seasons to the game, which change over time, adding absolute beauty to the wilderness. Unlike anything I've seen before, I mean, the snow, the difference between the green grass, the green mountain sides, and the, the snow, oh, it's absolutely amazing. You'll see that on screen now. And yes, these will impact gameplay, 
along with that day and night cycle with this game too that has been confirmed certain things will be available at night that are not available in the day and that's what we like to see so it's not just a cosmetic appearance it actually affects the way in which you play this game which is cool so yes the open world within hogwarts is going to be absolutely massive now although it won't be the biggest game ever the fact that it will be alive and will be full of things for you to do and explore and find makes it that little bit more exciting but there we have it guys now as soon as we have any updates on the actual size of this map a confirmation by avalanche i'll bring you another video on it but guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more hogwarts be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one